another gadget I built, which is the No Parallax Finder. Um, and it's a kit that'll allow you to find the no parallax point of um, of a lens. So for instance, you'd want it to be like that. And if you twist, you see how it goes out of alignment? It should be more like this. So um, I'm going to first use the uh, Sony a7 with a new lens I have, the 16 to 35. Um, so I'm going to uh, check that and then another lens. Um, I have it mounted on a Chinese um, pano head, which um, is very interesting in all its complexity, but still very difficult <laughs> to use. I have another uh, pano head. This is the uh, Panosaurus. Um, I find these all overly complicated. Um, I mean, they, they're great for what they do, but um, yeah, it's uh, they're a lot of work. Um, the reason I built this this thing in the first place is this other gadget I've been building, which I'm calling the Digitiler P for Digitiler Pano. And I'm making these very super lightweight um, partial panorama makers that are made for specific cameras. So this one is made for the Ricoh GR. Um, um, but I also I have another one over here that is for the Sony A7. Um, so anyway, I want to, I'm going to make multiple versions of this for various cameras that photographers would use so they have something very lightweight that they can take out with them on a trail, let's just say, and get medium format um, landscape images or partial panos without all the weight and complexity of these things because they are heavy and bulky and, um, yeah, and solid aluminum generally. And I'm going to... Um, you can see, can you see in there, um, how now the, the, these, these fish wires are, um, fishing line wires are right in front of this exactly. So it's seeing, um, seeing it perfectly. So you see if I move the camera around, you see how the wires, the red, you can see how it's like going, it's going away from the center. So to get parallax, you want to get, um, uh, let me just move that over. You want to get into the center, both the center, you know, the center vertical and horizontal. So this is a not, no parallax right now if we take this image. But when I turn the camera, um, actually, let me take out the, um, the zoom. Okay, so let's say turn the camera here. Now, by the way, the focal plane of the of the sensor now is going down the center of the tripod, the center of this thing. And now I'm going to focus zoom in there. I'm going to go down to, okay. You see, now this wire is to the left of the, the back, the back cross. So um, uh, I need to need move, move the, um, the camera back to the point where, this can be hard to do just myself. Okay, I've moved the camera back and you can now see that the fish line is in the center of this thing. Now the acid test, of course, is um, move it back to the center. Well, actually the acid test is let's go to all the way to the other side, right? And now let's see if it's still in the center. Moving my focus zoom. And yet, yes, indeed it is. So I found the nodal point of my lens I don't need to do for both vertical and horizontal. It'll work fine for both. Um, so now I'm going to come around. I'm going to read. Um, uh, this thing got shifted a little bit. Um, okay, I'm at zero. No, I think I shifted. That's right. Okay. So um, uh, it's 88 to basically zero. So it's 88 millimeters from the focal plane to this part of the lens. Let me get a ruler. And see if that make another you know, acid test to make sure that makes that looks that looks correct. So here I have a ruler, and 88 would be like right there. And uh, yeah, that's right. I mean, it's it's right here. That's not where I ex would expect it to be, right? I sort of expect it to be here. But you know, these modern lens designs, for whatever reason, um, <laughs> work a little bit different. Um, I don't know why it lost focus. So yeah, again, D 
uh, it's 88 millimeters to about right here. So that means on the on the on the panel head, I need to make this the tripod mount right back 88 um, millimeters back from the rota rotating parts of the of the head. Um, and so this is set to 35 millimeters, and that so it'll be, like I said, 88 millimeters. Now let's go to 20, 16 millimeters out of curiosity and see if the nodal point moves. And um, I'm gonna zoom in here. Okay, so it's, it's correct. Now it should be at the center. Move this to the. Uh, all the way to the left and uh, yeah as you can see it actually moves a little bit it's actually beyond my scale but I took out a ruler and did the difference it's about 107 millimeters so the nodal point 35 is 88 millimeters to uh, 16 uh, to um, so 107 millimeters. Um, it's interesting. So in the 85 Rokinon, the um, the difference um, of the how far the wire the the wire moves is very small. Though um, I measure it at let's see 88. Let's just say like 45, 46 to 88. Um, It's like 42 millimeter. Um, so I'm going to move that back across. So I have another one from an older method back there and see if I get a, the same measurement where I really move the two cross the hairs around. Okay, so when I uh, measured using just that this front um, cross thing against the back um, cross on the wall, and what I'd have to do is I can't get them to focus at the same time, so just move focus back and forth on the Rokinon 85, they came back with the same result, 42 millimeters for the um, for the non the no parallax point um, using this gadget over here. Um, so you know, like I said, this thing is very flexible. I made it to be flexible, so you could you can mount it here on this bar I, I create for short lenses. But if it's long lenses and you want to use part of it, you could just mount this just on the tripod here and put a a white cross in the background or you could put you know this thing on the background you know whatever you wanted um, and very quickly find the no parallax point of your camera lens combination and um, well thanks for watching if you have any questions of course always feel free to reach out to me